In this video, we'll learn how we can use Microsoft Power Automate to loop through multiple mouse click events. Now, this can be useful if you have a multiple area of the screen that you would like to click on one after the other. So here is a quick demo. I have, let's say I have three buttons that I would like to click on. I'm going to run my Power Automate flow. And let's see. It actually gets the, the value of X and Y coordinates, and then it basically clicks on these buttons, right? And so let's start. Uh, first of all, you do need Power Automate desktop. And so I already have a ready-made uh, flow that I just created, but we'll go through one, one step at a time. And so the Excel file that I'm going to use is right here. And so all you need is just an X and Y coordinates. And so actually you can get these coordinates uh, by using one of the mouse event, which we'll take a look uh, just in a bit. And so let's go to Power Automate and let's start a new flow. So create a new flow and let's say a loop mouse events. Okay, or you can give what, whatever name you would like to give. And so the first step we are going to do is we'll read that Excel file and then get the X and Y values. And so it's pretty simple. You just have to launch Excel. So let's just launch Excel. And then we would like to launch the file that we just already have and so here is the X and Y value just in one sheet. Uh, so let's just browse to that location. So open the following document and click on this file to get to that. Okay. All right, so uh, I need to close this. Okay, uh, and then it'll just make it visible while the flow is running. Okay, so click Save. And so that's the first step. The next step is to read the data. So let's just search for read action. And so right here, it says read Excel worksheet. So let's bring it here. And then the Excel instant was created by the first step right here. You can see the variable that it created. So we want to read that variable. And then we would like to read all the values, all the available values that is in that worksheet. Now, because uh, we are just reading X and Y value, make sure that your Excel does not have too many other information. If you do, just create another file and just put X and Y values, right? So we do that, and then it actually creates a variable called Excel data. So we open Excel, we read the data, and then finally we close the Excel because we already have the, the table that we were after. And then we would like to close this Excel instant, and then we don't want to save the document. Okay, so we have so far got the X and Y coordinate. And so all we have to do is read through it using a for loop. So search for a loop. Now there are different ways in which you can read a loop. What we are going to use is for each loop. So let's bring it here. And then the value that we would like to iterate is that Excel data table. So yeah, let's read through Excel data. And what it, it generates is it actually reads through each row of that table. And then it puts each row value into a, another variable called current item. Now you can rename it, like let's say we would like to rename this as XY data, right? And so click save. So now we have a for loop uh, which reads this Excel data table and gives us back the X and Y value. And so now actually I can just simply show you if I do just a simple message box and if, if I go here and then look for XY data, click save and let me run this, you will see that it actually creates a display message with X and Y value like four times because there were four, four rows. So it actually is going in my other screen. So there's one, two, three, and four. So you get the point. And so we don't really want the message. We just actually want to click, right? And so there's a action called mouse click. And so if you go right here, send mouse click. So let's drag and drop it between this loop. And it basically opens uh, a, like a mouse click event. So there are a few things that you may have to set. So we would like to have a left click. It basically should click one. Now you can change and you can have a right click or double click or different kind of clicks. We just want a regular left click. Uh, now sometimes it just, if you have a lot of action, it takes, it goes very fast. So sometimes it's always good to have a small delay. So this is the hundred or thousandth of a second, this number, actually. If you hover your mouse here, you can read the, uh, the comments or the help regarding this. So it's a thousandth of a second. So maybe let's put like five or ten, ten thousand, ten or one thousand seconds, right? 
then we would like to move mouse and here is that cool uh, tip that you can use so basically we would like to use x y data but if you remember it was giving us both x and y value so by simply just putting an zero zeroth uh, you know element it will give us x value and then if you want the y value you just put in a square bracket one which is the second column now if you notice here uh, it's actually basically telling a click of a mouse with these coordinates relative to a screen and so as i move the mouse you can see these values are changing so if i go all the way right at the top you can see it's zero zero right and so all these x and y coordinates are calculated based uh, upon this as a as, as a zero zero and so if you remember we had like 200 and 600 and so on number of different x and y values and so i basically just figured out what is the the uh, x and y value for a particular button now here is also a useful tip here so if you already know where you would like to click you can actually press ctrl shift and then click on a particular location and instead of this x and y value it actually will capture that that coordinate so uh, i may have to type this again so let me copy this and let's say we want to click somewhere here so if i press ctrl shift and uh, click here uh, yeah you can see that it changes the x and y value so it gave me the coordinate of whatever that click was okay well we we don't really want that we just already have that value in our spreadsheet and so what we are doing is we are just going through one row at a time and, and enabling all those clicks and so that's about it actually we have created a, a simple flow which reads the data uh, from an excel file to get x and y coordinates and then basically goes to one click at a time now sometimes these goes very fast and so i often put a small weight otherwise you won't even see uh, in fact later on you can remove that but just for now we can just simply put a small weight right after this so that we can actually see what was going on and then this weight factor is in seconds so let's say one second delay okay so it'll click wait for a second go into the loop next one and then so on so let's save and i just just to demonstrate the the mouse click i just created a simple excel a simple powerpoint animation so let's go i'm going to take this uh, this flow that i just created and then going to run this uh, but i'm going to take this on the other screen you may not see it but uh, because we just want to see how it actually clicks so i'm going to click run and you will see that eventually it'll open excel file uh, it reads the data and then finally it will click on those buttons so that's the first one the second one and then this is the third one and so you can see we just replicated x and y coordinate press in the loop and so this is how you actually create uh, just a loop event using mouse clicks in power automate so i hope you learned something new if you did click on the like button and if you like the content of this channel then please consider subscribing all right thanks